All right, that's Vegeta 8259. And I had an idea yesterday. Uh, why not start doing tool reviews? Because, uh, I mean, I review model kits, but uh, I get a lot of questions about tools and supplies and things like that. So, you know, why not review those as well? So, I figure today I would start off with something that I picked up at Hobby Town uh, last weekend. This is the Stevens International Swizzle Sticks. And no, these aren't the things you mix your drink with, but they are sanding sticks. Although, I guess you could mix your drink with them, but might not taste too good afterwards. Anyway, uh, like I said, I got these at uh, Hobby Town USA, which is a chain, and they're pretty much spread all around the U.S., so if you live in the uh, U.S., you should be able to find one somewhere near you. And uh, I got these for $1.99. And basically, what these are, are thin strips of what appears to be foam core. It's like some sort of foam cardboard substance in the middle. And then on the outside, you've got uh, sandpaper in varying uh, grits. And... Uh, how this differs from regular sandpaper, which is what I usually use, is that uh, it just allows you to get into really tight spaces. Like for example on this piece, uh, let's say you needed to sand something that was right here along this edge. These sanding sticks would be really convenient in getting in right there where you needed to get to. Whereas with regular sandpaper, you could still do it, but it'd be uh, a bit more tedious. So, uh, let's see. This is a 25 pack. This is 25 on the little insert. And, let's see, we get black, pink, uh, orange, gray, and is that it? I thought there were some white ones. Uh, here we go, and white. So, the different grits of sandpaper are color-coded. So that's definitely a good benefit. Alright. Now, it looks like the black is going to be the roughest grit. So you're going to be using the black ones for heavy-duty work. Uh, the... I pulled out two gray ones. I wanted a pink one. There we go. Alright, these gray ones are pretty rough grit as well, although not quite as rough as the black ones. The white ones go down a little bit further. The or orange ones even further down. And then finally we get to the pink ones, which are a very fine grit. So you get a uh, nice little range of different grits for these different sanding sticks which you can use for different projects like I said the uh, rougher grit sanding sticks you're going to be using for doing heavy duty work like removing panel lines or something like that and then you would gradually move down to the pink ones for a smoother grit where you would just be cleaning things up and giving it a nice smooth finish and uh, Having used them this past week working on my Gundam X, I have to say they actually work pretty well. Uh, so, can I recommend them? For $2, hell yes, I can recommend them. This $2 for this many, I mean, 25 sanding sticks is enough to last me, seriously, like three years. Because unless you get the sandpaper clogged up with paint or putty or something um, which usually you can clean off with alcohol or paint there anyway um, the only way these get worn down is if the uh, actual grit gets worn off and that takes a lot of sanding to do that so 25 of these sanding sticks will last you a very very long time and for just two dollars this is going to be a really good investment Plus, uh, a lot of you ask about getting rid of the little nub marks. Let's see, I'm sure there's one on here. Uh, yeah, these are actually really good for getting rid of those nub marks, especially these pink ones, which are a smooth grit. 
all you got to do is find the cut mark sand that off a little bit and you probably can't tell on this camera but uh, nub mark gone can't even tell it was there so I guess that does it for my first tool review that was the Stevens International uh, sanding sticks note that other companies also make sanding sticks so you might find some made by uh, other brands so I guess that about does it for this and I will see you guys next time